looking good. Got to transplant you soon. Hola amigos, am I here from Sonny's place? <sighs> Just getting out to do my chores. It's been uh, very rainy here and uh, today's no exception. I think we're supposed to be getting more rain. You can hear the thunder rumbling. So I'm gonna get out, do my chores really quick, and then uh, doing something a little bit different today. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys along with me, at least for the first day. Um, I'll explain a little bit once my chores are done. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So we've gotten some rain here lately. Look at that. Got our new compost pile going here. We've got to turn this stuff here. We've so we've got to turn this stuff. Uh, can actually go together. I might be doing that this weekend. Actually, getting all that turned uh, and checking the temperature. Uh, I wanted this stuff ready for our fall planting. Ducks are so messy. Look at that. So one thing that uh, people, anybody that raises ducks will tell you, they are quite messy. They're fun, but they are messy. Oh. Yeah, their kitty pool is a prime example. Look at that. <laughs> Like somebody dropped an egg out here yesterday. Well, toss it in our compost pile. And stay in there. <laughs> be free, be free. Go on, Rusty. Go. Go on. You gonna hang out here with me? Hmm. I know. Go, go. Go on. Silly boy. I need some food. Got some ladies that laid eggs already. We've got to refill these uh, nesting boxes and put in another layer of uh, some pine shavings here. Oh, look at that. We got some more eggs over here. Nice. We always have ducks that like to lay their eggs back here. I don't know what it is about this area. One of them laid an egg back here. <laughs> ah, silly one more scoop all right they're good so finishing up here this guy always tests me and I'm always thankful for my boots because he likes to come after me <laughs> hi sweeties hi babies Really fun to see the contrast between Teddy right here and uh, Rusty, who's pretty ornery. But yeah, hi, sweeties. Hi, ladies. So I did have a broody hen that was sitting in here, and it looks like she's uh, we're slowly breaking her out of it. We only wanted one going broody to try and hatch little baby eggs from Teddy here. Hopefully, Teddy will be a baby daddy soon. Beautiful, beautiful buff up here that's been laying on her eggs for for a little while so we're actually uh needing to candle those eggs here in the next day so i'll be doing that Got some yummy eggs today look at that yes so this is teddy being sweet eating out of my hand he's a little sweetheart no just for just for teddy <laughs> hey what i say <laughs> yeah yeah good boy Good boy, Teddy. Good boy. All right, so chores are done. We're going to take a quick look at the garden, make sure everything's good. Hopefully, Goldie hasn't uh, dug up any new plants. She's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, seen her do that. And so I have to come out here and check on them occasionally. But you guys, check this out. That's our cherry tree back here. You can see all those cherries. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Our garden, you can see 
Goldie's been up here. She's got some bigger paw prints, so she's been in here uh, rooting around and then accidentally snapped one of my, I believe this is one of my acorn, acorn squash plants. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. Looks like we got a nice little male flower over there. Let's see if we've got any females yet. I don't think they're here yet. Nope, nothing yet. So I've got some fertilizer on the way um, so that we can feed these plants. Um, they're actually in quite of a need of it. They're starting to, the leaves are yellowing, so that's a sign that they need uh, some nutrients. Um, and then I also need to mulch. I've got a, a bale of uh, straw out on the porch that I'm gonna use to mulch this area. Our uh, herb garden right here, I don't know if you've seen the video, I'll include a link to that up in the right corner uh, to how we planted uh, this uh, herb garden. We've got this one here and another one back there. It's our perennial uh, herb bed. And uh, look at this fennel, it's just looking amazing. And our, I mean, they're just, they are just taking off. They look really, really great. Um, I did transplant some time that I uh, was able to uh, propagate, but it's not looking too great. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then in the meantime, while these uh, herbs um, expand and take up more space, I planted some uh, lettuces. So we've got some butter crunch here. Or not butter crunch. I think this is black seeded Simpson. I actually can harvest some of these baby lettuces or baby leaves right now and then I, mo I moved some uh, Swiss chard over here so we've got some Swiss chard back there that's looking really great um, I created uh, or built these uh, planters out of old fencing that we took down and uh, uh, built these boxes for our uh, more invasive herbs so we've got uh, what is this we've got spearmint here and we've got uh, chocolate mint here Mm, and this right here smells amazing. I can't wait to make this into a tea. It smells like Andy's candy. <laughs> and then I also planted some more uh, uh, black seeded Simpson here. And we've got some ruby leaf right here that's actually ready to harvest. Looks like everything over here is looking pretty great. So those flowers were actually dug up by Goldie. So um, yeah, so we had to, had to watch out for what she's doing out here. Uh, looks like nothing new. But check out this herb herb bed so we've got some uh, sage here um, our lavender uh, more sage back there and then this is our basil that's looking really great um, and some chives and so in here I also planted some stuff to take some space up uh, while the herbs uh, grow nice and big so we've got some carrots here um, that are growing they look fantastic look at that and some radishes so this is kind of my quicker turnaround crop so um yeah really excited about growing growing some of these things and so these root vegetables are going to um, actually loosen up and aerate the soil so it's going to be really good for our herbs here and then i believe this is chamomile uh i'm not sure if it's getting too much rain do i need to clip these yellow uh bits of it um let me know in the comments uh below uh if I need to do anything different to our chamomile here. But uh, everything else looks really great. Here's another one of our little planters that I've built. Uh, this is uh, sweet mint. And yes, it does smell amazing. Um, and then over here, we've got our lemon balm. Uh, more lettuce here. Uh, Black Seed of Simpson and Ruby Leaf. We've got our tomato bed um, and tomatillos. Um, looks like the tomatillos are looking really, really good. Look at that. So, woo, yay, that's exciting. And then this is our greens bed. It's still producing, still growing lots of lettuce. I just harvested a bunch and look at that. We're already getting more uh, in return. So we're gonna have a lot more and check out that we've got a little wolf spider over here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Yay, have fun. And then our kales here, looks like some of them are starting to yellow. So we'll see how much longer these last. Um, We've got our peas over there looking phenomenal. So I need to harvest some of those peas, throw them on some salad. I think we're going to have salad for dinner tonight. We've got some old radishes. I need to pick pick those. I think they're going to be a little bit too spicy now. But I did intermittent or I did do some succession planting out here. Uh, planted some onions and they're looking fantastic. Look at them. They're all upright. Uh, so once these greens are done, we can go ahead and cut those out of here and our onions are gonna have all this space to grow. So excited.
I have all these onions. I got these from Dixondale Farms and they look phenomenal. Look at that. I mean, like, look how great that they look. Ah, I'm so excited about that. This is our potato bed. I didn't share it before. So we've got some sweet potatoes growing in here. I actually thought I lost them to the cold snap that we had. Um, they were, the leaves were turning this like brownish, ugly yellow color. And uh, so I actually have some potatoes planted back here that I was doing the uh, grass clipping method that Liz Doreb uh, talks about. And look at these potatoes. So they're absolutely thriving. And uh, these are just grocery store potatoes. I wasn't going to do any or grow any this year, so I hadn't bought any. But these were uh, starting to sprout on our countertop, and so I went ahead and planted them out here. And look at that. There's actually three out here. These two are doing really well. And I've got one back here. I don't think that one's going to come up, though. And then I did find another one and planted it here. And look at that coming up. So I've got to get another layer of uh, grass clippings for this. And I went ahead and tried it on our sweet potatoes. Uh, literally just covered the leaves that were there that were browning on me and uh, I was really really surprised and happy that uh, they popped up and look how green they are they're they're looking really really good um, so I'm thinking that this is gonna work for them too so oh, yeah I'm really excited so in our strawberry bed you can see we've got lots of strawberries so we've got to come in here and harvest some and then our asparagus we're, they're almost done. I've got some that are, more spears that I can probably harvest here before they get too tall. Uh, but they're starting to uh, grow out and fern, which we want them to do. But look at all those yummy strawberries. I did relocate a frog that I found earlier, or I guess late in the day yesterday, and relocated it in here to hopefully take care of some of our pests because we do have some issues with uh, pests eating our strawberries um, and that's a lot of things slugs uh, and uh, birds you can see the martin houses there and there and so um, we have some issues with that but yeah now that all that is done done with chores and checking up on our little garden uh, now it's time to get to the nitty-gritty and so i'm gonna go and get to that spot and show you what we're gonna be doing <laughs> we switched our shoes and we're going to put those puppies on because today we're starting our weight loss challenge. And we're going to start with this buddy right here. So I got my water to stay hydrated. Got my gloves to keep my hands safe. And we got our bag. This humidity really doesn't number on my hair. Yay. So uh, Jason over at Big Bear Homestead and uh, Brett Broussard from Broussard Homestead are doing a weight loss challenge uh, so that they can get healthier. Um, they invited several folks from the homesteading community and from their uh, viewerships to join them along this, to join them on this challenge um, to uh, get healthier. And so uh, I decided that I was going to do it. And so um, I've had some uh, health issues uh, related to some of the weight gain. And so I have some uh, knee injuries um, and uh, a previous back injury from back when I played sports in college. And um, so the this added weight um, that uh, I've let happen um, or <laughs> that I've gained uh, doesn't help that. It actually aggravates a lot of those injuries. And so today, uh, I'm going to change that and I'm joining this challenge with Jason and Brett and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get started and start beating this bag and getting on this uh, this health journey with them so let's have some fun <laughs> I'm out of 
shape, guys. Oh. But it felt good to hit a bag. <laughs> So day one, whew, first workout is done. Uh, I'm really out of shape, but uh, it felt good. It felt really good to get back on the bag, put those gloves on and, and just go to work. <laughs> Been a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head upstairs, uh, make a quick uh, healthy breakfast. If you're one of the homesteaders that's in the challenge, I hope that this, uh, uh, serves as some encouragement to get out there and uh, get some work done. Um, you don't have to hit the bags like I do. This is just one of the workouts that I absolutely love. And um, if you want to get out there and just get some walking done, uh, whether it's uh, you know 100 steps or 1,000 steps, just get out there and do it. I encourage you to do it. Um, know that you won't regret it and uh, your body will thank you for it, even though it might not initially. But uh, yeah, get out there. Get moving and let's lose some weight together, guys. Come on. What do you say? <laughs> this is Emma from Sonny's Place encouraging you to grow, box, or walk your best life. <laughs> Adios. All right, before I let you go, though, I wanted to clarify some things. I've had several folks that have uh, reached out uh, thinking that I'm an Army veteran. I actually am not. I wear this shirt to honor my nephew who is an army veteran and uh, my best friend who also served in the army. So I am not an army veteran. I wear this shirt to honor them and all of our servicemen and women who are serving either stateside or overseas. Thank you so much for your service. God bless.